And thanks for staying with us. Let's begin this second half in Delta, where the state government is supporting farmers in the state, especially those in Cassava, to boost yield by training over 1,050 of them. The state government is also providing them with funds and high yielding stems to produce large quantity of cassava. Commissioner for Information Charles Aniago, who disclosed this to newsmen after the executive council meeting, added that the government has decided to build a model abattoir in Asaba. Iken Amichi has more. Due to insecurity in the northern part of Nigeria, especially in the middle beds, which is regarded as the food basket of the nation, there is a drop in farming activities, which is now causing high price of food items in the country. Now, the Delta State government wants to boost the yield of cassava production, where it has high comparative advantage by supporting farmers. We at today's exports approved 250 million naira for the execution of the 2021 cassava development program. This program is, a, is targeted at getting as much as 1,050 uh, farmers, training them, giving them cassava, helping them in some instances to pay some uh, land rent so that we can afford to produce uh, large quantity of cassava as a state. But the essence is to encourage them and then give them high yielding cassava stem. Mr. Aniago also revealed the intention of the state government to build a befitting abattoir in Asaba to ensure meat consumed are prepared in hygienic environment. Why we are building this abattoir is because we believe that abattoir should not be center for spread of diseases. Because when you kill slaughter any of the animals for consumption. If the environment is not safe, it means that rather than providing delicacies for people, you would have ended up uh, spreading uh, diseases. And so as a, as a government, we are constructing that abattoir. Another issue of great concern for the Delta State Government in its urban renewal drive is the misuse of land allocated for the proposed Asaba Industrial Estate, which it intends to revoke the certificate of occupancy of defaulters. The state government also announced the approval of the construction of some roads, mostly in rural and riverine communities, to link them up. Ikenna Amechi, TVC News, Asaba.